Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now we have got a crap day today. It is nothing but rain and grey skies. It is just terrible. So what I was quickly thinking is that what we would do is, and I'm every morning I've been walking past this barrel thinking, can I smell anything? No, not really. Rah, rah, rah. So I'm here to sort of put the, the, the kyber on does comfrey really smell or not? You know, as it's decomposing and breaking down. And because I thought what I would do today is I've just planted out some um, new olive seedlings and lavender and rosemary getting ready for spring. Um, I thought I would do some tests now on the comfrey tea that we're going to be using as a part of our biochar. And I sort of figure that um, I've got a, a watering can with me, and that's only nine litres. So you know, I figure that I can sort of spare 900 mil. And I might do this over the next, you know, every two weeks, give these guys a little bit of a sprinkle of, of the comfrey tea, just to see what happens. But in saying that, I've come close to my barrel and oh my God, it sticks. And the closest thing I could put it down to is the like potatoes that have been left at the back of the cupboard. Sort of like potatoes that have been left in the back of the cupboard that you've missed and you've gone, oh my God, what's going on here? So I've got to, <laughs> I've got to be quick and I've got my little uh, measuring can here. So what I've done is I've put a bucket or like a, a flower pot in there and let that fill up. So I'm not going to get a lot of that, um, the material breaking down. So I've purely just got a concentrate. Whew, here we go, I'll take a deep breath. <laughs> You know, whew, holy dooly, mate. So, I suppose the positive being is that it looks like tea. <laughs> so I've got, what have I got here? Yeah, 900 mil. So what I'm gonna do is um, put this into my watering can. Oh, jeez, <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> but anyway. I've got that in my watering can, and what I'll do is I'll fill this up, and I'll take it up to the hoop house where we're a little bit drier, and we'll start having a look at what we can do about putting it on those seedlings, um, or those new cuttings that I've just put together. This has got another week to go before we start mucking around with our biochar and uh, letting the charcoal absorb this tea. So, poop, oh, mate. <laughs> If this works anything like it smells, it's going to be a rocket, mate. So what I'll do, I'll get a few things organised. I'll meet you up at the Hoot House, and I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are in the high, in the um, high tunnel Hoop House. Murphy's Law, no, don't drink it. My, Murphy Law tells me that you know every time we want to do something, so I have to turn this quickly, turn the sprinklers off. But these were, or these are some um, little cuttings I've just put together. Um, Last couple of days, or about a week now. Got some lavender, rosemary, and I just want to get some, um, I found a new area out the back of the farm here that I want to get some more olives in. So I thought I'd just quickly do another 50. And like I said, as a part of our germination sort of process, you know, we, we, we sort of got a strike rate around about that 70, 75%. So, especially with the olives. So that'll be absolutely fantastic. And just add to our olive, grove that we have, getting ready for our own very special um, fat cow farm, virgin olive oil, can't wait, can't wait. But we are in an enclosed environment, so I've got to be quick because <laughs> I'm starting to smell what's going on. So this is what, um, what I've done is we've just put a 10% in, like I said before, so we've, this is a nine litre um, watering can. So I've just got um, 90 mil, or not so 900 mil of um, of comfrey tea in here, and these are the ones that I want to sort of just test. So what I was thinking to myself is I'm going to put comfrey tea only on one set of trays. We'll leave the other ones El Natural Al. So that'll be the um, 
the, the sort of start, what I will do is... Alright, now... You know, it's. I wish we had um, smelling view um, on these little videos. <laughs> you know, when people said to me, or you know, when I was looking to see um, how things were going to sort of pan out as a part of the smell, I, I mean, oh yeah, how bad's it going to be? <laughs> it's full on. It's full on. So I suppose this is what it's all about. You know, trying to work out all the. Um, all your positives and negatives and, and getting a few things squared away. Alright, so we'll get this one sorted out. So that's the the rosemary and what I'll do is I'll mark these um, I'll put a label or something on them and so we can do a we can watch and, and, and see how this all pans out but what I will do is certainly do the olives because if I feel that um, you know I'd be pretty stoked if we can get more than 75% and um, and then really at the end of the day you know, I'm gonna, I'll have to put that down to the comfrey tea. So, or I can come back next week and they're all dead. <laughs> Just. So, anyway, we'll see how that, whew, geez, that smells. We'll see how well that all pans out and I'll mark these up and we'll keep you updated, you know, as, as I feel that, oh yeah, look, you know, they're just going absolutely crazy or whatever it may be, um, we'll keep you in the loop about how everything's going. So, here we are, I couldn't help myself and I needed to make sure that that comfrey tea was all that it was all, you know, really all about. And at the moment, I'm sort of believing that, yes, it is what it is. Yes, it does stink, it <laughs> really sticks. You know, having it as inoculation for our biochar, I'm really super excited about that. And then that's next week. So um, we've got about four weeks. So um, I've got to start getting my charcoal ready or volume of, and then start chucking it into that drum that we've got there. And that's going to be putrid. So I might have to do that one in the middle of the paddock somewhere. And look, as a part of a fertilizer, we'll see how this all pans out here as well. So. All about your comfrey tea, making it from scratch, from your comfrey plants here at, at, on your farm or wherever it may be at home, trying it on your new cuttings and seedlings and things like that. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.